Hello everyone and welcome back to Lego Slayer Nelson Reads me Shakti here and you might be wondering why you're seeing just this um, app things of all the apps of my MacBook. So it's nothing that I, I just um, just to say that uh, I actually found an awesome app called Lego Digital Designer. It's, it is an official app from Lego guys I just downloaded it and this app is uh, pretty basically for designing Lego stuff online. So maybe I'm also thinking if I don't have parts here and I have different ideas I might be spending a little bit of time in here in this so as you all can see this software is like it's like uh, any other probably a designing software I'll just show you guys a trial with the new one then I'll show you guys what all I built first just uh, free build is just to choose what just I don't know start a new build and you can choose anything you want there are tons and tons of parts here I'll just put this full screen yeah there are tons and tons of parts here every parts it probably it gets updated um frequently and yeah you have all sorts of parts and all sorts of sizes even like yeah even uh many pa many other molded parts are also there like the plain stuff etc there's also motorized parts this is what shocks me the motorized parts and yeah these parts uh, actually do work very well so um yeah and uh, so that's all so if i'm just building i don't know i just keep that thing there and that thing just there and yeah that's just two things you can also zoom in and just see that um not like this actually just click on that and then you can zoom in and then just have a look around these buttons are just for the views and stuff that is for just like going um uh, that's for the last move actually this is for zooming in and zooming out here you have um many other things like clone tool you can just clone the thing and get the same thing there rotate oh my gosh okay rotate our uh, hinge tool is for rotating it and then that's for aligning it parallelly this is for flexing uh, a flexible thing i'll show you guys what that flexible thing is like um where did it go yeah it's this thing so flexible cable so uh, if i keep this right there and i click on that thing uh, i can flex this actually well i should be able to yeah it is getting a little bent um it should be flexing actually or I don't know how this works, but yeah, I think you guys can see it's bending a little bit. There you go. Why is it? Oh, it's all got up for some reason. Okay. And this thing is a paint bucket tool. Yeah, just fill it up with some color. Fill it up with some color. This is for the hide tool. So if I just put hide that, it will be there. But yeah, you get this show all hidden things and all that. And here it's the delete tool. So if I don't want that, I can delete that and that and all that's all. There are also keyboard shortcuts for these things uh, like D is for deleting, V is for coming back to select, C is for just copying the tool like that and that's all. So um, that's all the software here you have um, just search by filters, uh, just filters by color and this is a filter by boxes. Uh, I have to download templates I think, no, yeah I think I have to download a few templates and stuff if you want to just copy how the actual thing is built. So here. Um, yeah we have all the this is like all the every single part from uh, every single category um, just do that and this is just to see minimized that's all full zoom like that so next you have um, a few things here which is just mostly the same thing all the um, all the same uh, selecting functions or just modifying functions here you have something called as the building guide which autom lego automatically creates it a building guide for you for this one we just kept two studs like that and that and that so that's all the building is over and yeah you can do that or you can also use the mouse to get it like that or you can also use it to um, create a uh, what how do you call that guys um, a flash thing you know just like a HTML building guide and maybe you can also make it like a real Lego building guide which would be awesome but no I don't want to make a real building guide for three studs like this so this is send um send you can actually send your ideas to lego.com and maybe they look into your ideas and um, yeah they maybe they'll get a little inspiration from you that look that'll be not look that look not that look that'll be awesome you know you guys building lego and inspiration giving inspiration to lego and this is actually a view mod where uh, you guys just look i don't know look at what you built with the background you can change backgrounds here you have a forest and you have what is this? The sea and the sky. Um, wow, just space with galaxy and Earth and Mars and okay. 
the space looks cool but yeah this desert thing is the uh, default here also you can zoom out and zoom in uh, your uh, figure it might look a little vague with this three dots but if it is a complete figure um, it would be awesomer so here uh, you guys have changed background this is for exploding that means uh, just uh, explode the model if it's actually a nice uh, like a block model it'll actually show like a real explosion happening this is just for taking a screenshot which I don't want to take right now and after these explosion thingies it'll all come back together so yeah no problem and yeah so next is back to the building mod and you also have shortcuts for that you know f5 f6 I think f6 and f7 um, yeah this is pretty much the software so yeah this here um, you also get to know uh, how many bricks you have used the specific brick name and all that thing so I think that is all for this uh, just introduction video of this Lego software guys. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned um, where in my next videos I will be showing you guys uh, well I don't want to save that I'll be showing you guys all the other interesting stuff that I'm making making and that I've made. So um, yeah the Lego with plane wing is nothing you know it's just a trial. Um, I think in the next episode I'll be sharing you guys my plane. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Do share these videos with your friends, families, etc. And um, maybe you guys will be um, more frequently seeing these digital builds than the real builds. And yeah, I will also do assembly videos. So I think I'll go now. Bye.